there everybody, my name is Coach Shadong Stubborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update from Six Flags Magic Mountain. This is on 2021 and this is on some surveying taking place near Tidal Wave and Green Lantern First Flight sites. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, family and on social media and let's get into this video. So this is on 2021 at the park. Uh, and some surveying has been taking place nearby uh, where Justice League Battle for Metropolis and Red the Revenge is, which is close to the Tidal Wave Plaza, which is also near Green Lantern First Flight. Now, Green Lantern First Flight opened in 2011. It's an Intamin Zach's been roller coaster, and for the 2020 season, it's been relocated. Uh, after a couple of years, SBNM. It's been relocated to La Ronde, another Six Flags property over in Montreal, Canada, uh, and will open as Viper, which is French for Viper. Now, Tidal Wave is their shoot the shoot ride, and like many shoot the shoot rides across the Six Flags parks, like Aquaman Splashdown, Six Flags Over Texas, this one's lifespan is coming to an end. Now, um, a good a good follower of the channel, a good friend of the channel, uh, actually commented on my Six Flags Magic Mountain dive coaster rumor video months ago, and said, "Look out for some construction work or some kind of work taking place in January uh, around Tidal Wave Green Lantern." He told the truth. There's some surveying going on around the site. So um, it's very interesting to see what that's going to be like. Uh, obviously, if you want to go see some pictures, I believe it's called Ryan Theme Parks on Twitter. Uh, something like that. Or you can check out the Coast Force Forum and the pictures will be on there. Uh, ba but basically, this is all about surveying on the nearby site, which means that they're surveying the site ready for groundwork to begin early 2020, ready for a 2021 attraction. Now, I want to speak about this now because I wanted to wait a couple of days, a few days, because I'm kind of glad I did because something came out from Mac Rides that I think would be very good for the park. Now, if you haven't seen it, um, well, first of all, there's about three options that I've got. Uh, the first option is the B&M Dive Coaster. That's my first option. Uh, I'm not going to rank them in any order. I'm going to rank them in any order at the minute. I'm not going to put them in like an order of probability. Uh, but there is a top three, and the first option is a B&M Dive. The second option is your traditional Mac Power Splash, uh, either normal, like a command Power Wave, or with the turntable, since Sweet Five Magic Mountain is arguably the bigger part than over Texas. You know, they like to do things bigger, so they'll probably do like a world's tallest, fastest, longest uh, Power Splash kind of thing. However, there was a new Mac concept that I think has Six Five Magic Mountain's name written all over it. The world's first looping water shuttle coaster. It is a power splash with a vertical loop. Now, <laughs> you've probably all seen it. It's the new Mac Power Splash concept they revealed uh, this week. Um, I think that's going to be absolutely perfect for Six Flags Magic Mountain. They're looking for a thrilling water ride to replace Tidal Wave. You know, use up the Green Lantern site as well. Give it a DC theme. Whether it's going to be called Aquaman Power Wave or not, I'm not too sure. Hopefully they think of something more original than using another park's name. Keep it original with over Texas, please. Uh, but if they use a different name, then I wouldn't mind. You know, if they use like a different C-themed DC hero or villain, uh, then I wouldn't mind at all. Maybe like Mr. Freeze. And I know Magic Mountain hasn't got like a Mr. Freeze reverse blast, so I think maybe they could use that. Uh, because technically a Power Splash is a reverse blast, I guess. Um... But the power splash with the vertical loop would be more suited to Magic Mountain's thrill market. And I think it'd be more of a thrilling addition than a traditional power splash. I still think they'll do World's Tallest Fastest Longest Power Splash, like there will be the dive coaster option with World's Tallest Fastest Longest Dive Coaster. But I think the vertical loop addition would make it the world's first looping power splash in the the first looping power splash in history, never mind just the world. And of course, it would be the world's first looping water coaster. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, there's plenty of advertising opportunities there for Six Five Magic Mountain if they use the looping one. And I think it should be the looping one, in my opinion, because it's more traditional to Six Five's market. So, taking out the the power, the traditional power splash, and to be fair, with the looping one as well, I would like to see them use the turntable as well, like they would in the traditional power splash. I would like to see them with the with the turntable and not the, just the one car. Uh, just to increase capacity, so I think two cars would be better in my opinion. Uh, now, one big thing to note is what would be better? A power splash with a turntable for more capacity and a vertical loop, or, and it'd be the world's tallest, fastest, longest, as well as the, the world's first looping water coaster, or 
the world's tallest, fastest, longest dive coaster from B&M. What would be the better option? And I'm not going to answer that now. I'm going to wait until more work happens on site over the next few months. And then I'm going to sort of make my decision or sort of start predicting what's going to happen. Of course, we do our prediction videos. We, we do the early ones. We do the uh, sort of mid-season predictions. And we do the late predictions, the final predictions for the year, uh, for the 2021 season. So we did it with 2020. We're doing it with 2021. So... I'm going to give it a couple of months, maybe March, April time, do the early ones, and then August time, do the mid-season ones, and then of course, in fact, no, actually, you know what, I think next month, I'm going to try and get those early ones done in February, and then mid-season ones around April, May, and then the final ones around July, August, so you can, again, like last year, you can see my prediction change over certain periods of time, so... Again, it should be interesting. I might decide just to do final predictions in August and just do a normal one uh, for each of the for the Six Flags, the Cedar Fair, the Millen Entertainments, uh, the Sea World Bush Gardens parks. If they haven't already announced anything, um, you know, and other parks as well. I might try to do, try and do some other parks that have sort of released teasers and stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys are excited for that one. I may do an early mid-season prediction videos, but I might just stick to doing final predictions just to save some time. Uh, so, for now guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update. Please comment down below what do you think is going to happen. Map Power Splash, Map Power Splash with a vertical loop, or a B&M Dive Coaster. That's my three options, personally. The Map Power Splash with the loop, because I think it's perfect for the thrill market of Magic Mountain. A traditional Map Power Splash, because that is one of the speculated rumours for 2021. And a B&M Dive Coaster, another rumour for 2021. So... Uh, personally, I'd like the power splash with the big loop, but I wouldn't put it past them to put a B&M dive in or a traditional map power splash with a dual turntable station. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Shell. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.